Hey, what's up? Leo Robin here. Uh, guys, welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. Um, so I'm just going to dig right in. I'm doing your June 2021 bonus tarot card reading. And this month I'm using a spread called Unlock Your Life. So I think this is going to be important for you, uh, Leo Millionaire Gang, as you are on your quest to manifest to your highest ability. Uh, you guys have massive potential. I see from a couple past readings just recently that you might have gone through a little bit of a rough patch and maybe a mini dark night of the soul or just something that you had to heal. So I'm pretty excited to see what this reading is going to hold in store for you, Leo. So I am using the Witch's Tarot, which I'm going to give a good clear to. Um, and this is going to be for Leo in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what the cards have to say for you and my spirit guides as I channel messages for you. Um, yeah. So the first card we're going to pull is how to unlock your magical power. So everybody has magical powers. All right. They might not be aware of them. We could have been untrained, you know. Uh, kids, their brains are so, like if you watch a, a child, everything is possible. Everything. Nothing is impossible. But then as we grow up, we, we learn the phrases and rituals that tell us that we just can't do things. So anyway, we're going to have a card for that. Ugh. So we have the Seven of Swords. This is very uh, strange to get this. Okay, so he's talking to me quite a bit. So there is something that you guys have to offload. Um, I saw some sort of emotional damage was a couple readings ago for you guys that you just weren't dealing with because you were trying to stay strong for other people. And you can see way in the background there, there's two swords. They're sort of, it. they're kind of like a grave marker. You know, when you just put something in the ground, bury something, and walk away from it, okay? So that's what that reminds me of. And then being able to find the freedom and move forward, okay? So if you guys still haven't attended to whatever it is that uh, was holding you down in whatever way, you might've been embarrassed or just felt like it was gonna be a show of weakness or whatever, you don't even have to talk to anybody else about it. You can work through this on your own. Um, there's multiple guides out there. I listen to a few on YouTube that are very helpful. I love Kenneth Suarez. His last name is S-O-U-R-A-S -S for like cord cutting, inner child healing, uh, forgiveness. Um, Steve Nobel does these healing chamber meditations and they're just unbelievable. Power Thoughts Meditation Club. There's Jason Stevenson. Um, <clears throat> tons and tons and tons. If you don't know what you're doing in trying to heal yourself, in trying to just finally burying that scenario once and for all, and you don't want to talk to somebody about it, or even if you have talked to somebody about it and it's lingering, try one of those meditations and do it frequently like do it every day for a week and then once every two days and then you'll just start to feel your your pack getting lighter okay so anyway and that'll release your magical powers for you leo okay so what's the next card <clears throat> unlocking creativity i really feel like as soon as you can bury whatever i'm getting the word hatchet is going on in your life your your creativity should automatically start to hold on. um i get the word spew which is kind of gross but you know what i mean it's just like a volcano it should just okay uh, all i'm getting is spew so i'm gonna pull a card so we can get off of that we've got the justice card oh this is very interesting very interesting So there could be some wrong about to be righted for you here. Seven of Swords, walking away, taking whatever you can and moving on. Justice is about to be served to you guys also. 
somebody and i've seen this going back a couple years for you guys somebody taking advantage of you uh using you guys for a stepping stone and this could be part of what is going on here because you remained silent about it because you held this person in in rather a high esteem or you were whatever you just couldn't you couldn't divulge okay so justice is coming for that person you know, they're going to get a little piece of how they treated other people. If you guys have any sort of Aries in your chart, I did this reading for Aries. I believe it was the June month ahead, and it was called a nice little slice of justice pie. I'm going to recommend that you guys watch that because that's what I see coming in for you guys, especially if you have Aries, you know, anywhere. So it's very interesting. So that will help unlock your creativity because it's like you were holding yourself back so somebody else could excel. But then there's a universal factor coming in to put this person back in their place because they've been taking advantage of more people than you. And once that happens, you're going to be able to heave this sigh of relief. And your creativity will blossom once again. So let's see how to unlock compassion for you, Leo. And I find Leos are very, uh, like they have tendencies to be very compassionate and generous and sweet. But, you know, sometimes things, this is really cool. This is really cool. We got the six of coins. So this is a, an energy of reciprocity. Okay. So what this means is just giving back giving back to other people. And I, I really believe that you guys continued to do this even while this scenario was going on in your love life, in your work life, wherever, maybe you had the landlord from hell, um, you know, stuff like that. Something is about to happen. And this is going to happen at the same time that you clear your, your karma. So you should probably go up a level immediately in your life like it'll be a bit like i'm getting the volcano and i'm not going to say that horrifying word again so let's just move on um <clears throat> you're giving back here in a beautiful way like just really like sprinkling abundance on other people just because you can so never ever forget that part of you no matter what else is going on in your life and sometimes it can be a little bit more challenging than other times but that's so generous and beautiful and just giving people things just because you can you know giving people the gift of your time like putting a note under your partner's pillow or bringing somebody a cup of coffee just because you thought it would be nice like those little tiny gifts of yourself um constantly through throughout your life just never stop doing that and i i don't think you will because leo is such a beautiful energy okay so this one is going to be important for you here leo did i say that for every card so far probably <laughs> so unlocking prosperity i really love the confidence that you guys have had in the comments you know checking in as uh the millionaire some of you typing billionaire which i love um you know lmg i love you guys using that acronym for a leo millionaire gang and just like really affirming with the universe money is yours you have a right to wealth and abundance you have a birthright of wealth and abundance so let's see how to unlock that for you but these other two cards here with the seven of swords and the justice card and you know what especially even the six of pentacles because justice is going to be served to somebody else you don't have to keep their secret anymore uh you're going to be able to bury some karmic debt and walk away and leave like hey <laughs> you know and then six of pentacles your generosity towards other people no matter how large or small the scale it does come back to you so unlocking your prosperity and you've got two keys coming in here for you with the high priest card two keys all right they're gonna come in from whatever your faith is i did get the word god um the universe the high priest he's saying just keep the faith and you will be, be given the keys to the kingdom 
I think I need to write that down. Hold on. So if you look at the background of the High Priest card, he sits between two pillars, which indicates a strong sense of balance, which we also see here in the Justice card. So you could be entering a very stabilized period of your life. Your faith in humanity and spirit and God and the universe could be restored to a higher extent than what you were capable of doing before. And that's okay. Everybody goes through a rough, rough patch. But once you feel this balance that's coming in with these three cards here, Justice, Seven of Swords, and the Pentacles, you guys are literally going to be given a gift from the gods. The gods, gods, spirit, whatever you guys want to call it. There's two keys coming in and the high priest is pointing to the heavens. Okay, so I love everything about that. Just keep on keep on keeping on with your positive affirmations like keep on saying and like don't just say them to me in the comments which i love i love it i can feel that energy but say it to yourself put a big post-it note up on your mirror in the bathroom leo millionaire gang lmg you know just whatever you need to remind yourself so keep on doing that and we're going to pull a card here for unlocking your peace of mind so this is a pretty uh, interesting card here for you guys because this is the Queen of Wands. She's a fire sign, just like you guys. She's taking a break. You know, she's observing everything that she has accomplished. She's watching her family. She's just taking pride in a job well done. Uh, she's a very, very strong individual. <sighs> Tends to put herself last. but So sorry remember to put yourself first okay take that step back sit down observe what your powers have done for yourself just be intentional about it not enough people do that you guys just really just okay wow i did a great job today and this can be very difficult if you have a long commute or if you have children you're a single parent you have pets to take care of it's like your day is so busy, like you get up, go to work, or wherever it is that you go, whatever it is that you have to take care of, come home, take care of other people, clean the house, until you just sort of drop down exhausted and you're in a fog. But the Queen of Wands is going, I'm going to take five minutes. And I think this is a really, really good recommendation I read um, when my kids were small. Everybody downtime for 15 minutes when you get home okay so that means I would put on a timer actually so you know everybody like go sit in your room or just relax and for 15 minutes and then we'll all get together because you need that break time so your peace of mind is going to come from looking at your accomplishments and also from taking a step back from having to be entangled in everybody's business all day long and if you do have a commute, really take advantage of that. Maybe listen to some meditation music or like just let your brain rest. Like don't watch videos or play video games. I don't know, even reading, take a break from that and just be. All right, Leo, I'm going to bounce. So I hope you guys, uh, yeah, just have an amazing day. Sending you love and light and many blessings. Take care. Bye.